garage of that. We actually, we still have a few hits every now and then here, so we'll stay here. I'm getting a, I'm getting a buzzing sound. So we head off away from the whale and we actually ended up losing the whale. The Song of the Whale was designed for doing acoustic surveys on marine mammals. The principal thing is designed to be as quiet as possible. It is the most magical thing to be able to hear whales and dolphins without even seeing them and uh, be able to hear it with pretty much no disturbance from the vessel that you're on. I think a lot of people find it quite claustrophobic on the boat. There's not a lot of space to yourself, but I come from a big family, so I'm pretty used to that. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a great life, as long as you get to return home every once in a while and see everyone else. My name's Anna Cuckfield. I'm a scientist on board Song of the Whales. I sort of manage the scientific work while it's on the boat. Whatever needs doing, at the time it needs doing. I'm Matthew Jerome. Always like a challenge, doesn't matter what it is, really. Basically, my prime role is make sure the boat's ready to go when it needs to be gone. My name's Stephen Brown. Previously, I was a mate and relief skipper on the uh, original Song of the Whale, the smaller boat. Yeah, bubbles off the bow, stab bow. I'm a crew member here and uh, assist with collecting scientific data as well. I'm on as a sort of liaison, someone with some tracking expertise for this particular trip. My name's Brian Morrison. I'm currently here as skipper of the Song of the Whale. I've been on as skipper since the beginning of May in the Azores. The boat left from England, stopped in Spain, and then went to the Azores, and I joined the boat there. We did a three-week project in the Azores, working on blue whales and fin whales primarily. It was during their migration period, trying to get recordings of them. All the research that happens on board Song of the Whale has a conservation aim at the end. We try to answer questions that relate to a problem that we see. So a lot of the work that we do is in areas that haven't been studied before or are rarely studied. So further offshore habitats that people can't get to as easily. Right now, we are off in Stellwagen Bank, um, the marine sanctuary, trying to do some work on humpback whales and fin whales. The main goal for this particular project is to understand what endangered whales do underwater. And the more we know how they work underwater, the more we're able to protect them from human activity. I'm Dave Wiley. I'm the research coordinator for the Stillwagon Bank National Marine Sanctuary, part of NOAA. So out here at the moment, we're working on this humpback whale and fin whale project to track how they use their water column, especially in relation to prey. The Stellwagen Bank National Marine Sanctuary draws whales to it um, because of the substrate, which is a sandy bottom in large portions of it. And this attracts this little fish called sand lamps. This area is an area that's always had a lot of whales. Mainly, whales tend to go where there's a good food source. When we have lots of sand lamps, we have lots of whales, we have lots of birds, and we have lots of commercial fish. This is the largest year that we've actually put this team together. We had more scientists, more boats, tag more whales with more different types of tags. That makes more sense. There's animal just right at the back of us. They really gave us more information this year than we've ever gotten in the past. Right and back. It's very obvious when you get a good hit. When I really got one, I'm like, oh, okay. That's it. That's the tag, yeah. Our partnership with IFA over the years has been extremely powerful and productive. In this case, we had about 30 scientists working on three different vessels. IFA's Song of the Whale, NOAA's Stellwagen Bank Research Vessel Auk, and NOAA's research vessel Nancy Foster. The Nancy Foster really works as the mothership uh, for this project. We're working with NOAA and Stellwagen Bank Marine Sanctuary to see how we can understand how they use the water column. And using that information, they can inform management decisions on fisheries and other uses of the area. Yeah, yeah. Just keep an eye on that. In this area, because of the very large number of whales, it's leading to an increased 
number of ship strikes and entanglements. Back. Two shores back. We also get hit by ships and sometimes killed, get entangled in commercial fishing gear and again sometimes killed. So by knowing what they do underwater, we can really help mitigate those threats. Our approach is to identify a positive solution and ways that we can work together to change the situation in the water for the world's whales. The goal of all this research is really to inform policy and inform the public, inform stakeholders, so they can make informed decisions that will both protect human activity and also endangered species such as the whales that we're working with. Oh my God! The best research in the world today takes place on living whales, and that's what Song of the Whale was built to do. This is the second Song of the Whale. It started in the hope to combat the idea of scientific whaling. If we could get the same information, they couldn't use that as an excuse anymore. I'm deeply honored to be part of the launch of this great boat. In 2004, I thought managed to build Song of the Whale too. This is the first year we've been able to work with IFA's Song of the Whale. We're involved mainly in the tracking, particularly at night time. So what are the whales actually doing at night? We can literally try and track the whale. Oh, hey, strong one to write. The goal was to keep a tag on 24 hours. 